Target locked. Today's target is Vierna, the Wraith Queen, a magic dealing mage for the cultist faction. Beset by black magic, the Scorn Queen now wields it maliciously. Pair her with Silas and lay waste. Here's a stat breakdown for Vierna and how she compares to other mages in the game. While her attack is actually mid-range and her cost is a little higher than average, her kit alone makes her a force to be reckoned with. Vierna's talent is that her basic attack applies Mortal Kiss on the target. Mortal Kiss deals AoE magic damage equal to 25% of the caster's attack to the effect bearer and the surrounding enemies every second. Airborne units take half the damage instead. Vierna's basic attack deals 100% damage to one enemy. Attack speed bonuses do not affect basic attack. With max skill, she can increase this damage by an additional 20%. Vierna's ultimate Reaper's Grasp is a manually activated ultimate. It has a rage cost of 900 and upon deployment she starts with 500. It deals 700% AoE damage to enemies in range and kills enemies with HP below 25% after short delay. Elite monsters and bosses are excluded. With max skill ups you can increase the damage by an additional 200%, increase the execution threshold by 10%, reduce the skill cost by 100, and increase her initial rage by 100. Vierna's first passive, Soul Extraction, with each enemy killed, their essence is absorbed into the staff's crystal, accumulating up to 6 souls. Each absorbed soul increases attack by 2%. When there are at least two enemy targets within the basic attack range, the hero will consume one soul to increase the target count of basic attack by one. With max skill ups, you can increase the soul capacity by additional six and increase the additional attack provided by each soul by 1%. Vierna's second passive, Skeletal Shield, has a cooldown of 30 seconds and it applies Bone Shield to the ally with the lowest HP percentage in range. The skill's cooldown is reduced by 2 seconds for every kill, up to a minimum cooldown of 12 seconds. Bone Shield increases the physical damage reduction by 10% and deals AoE magic damage equal to 10% of the caster's attack to the effect bearer and the surrounding enemies every second. Airborne units take half the damage instead. With max skill ups, you can increase the Bone Shield duration by 4 seconds, increase the physical damage reduction of the Bone Shield by an additional 5%, and increase the bone shield damage by 10%. Vierna's third passive, Pledge of Yore, obtain the hero Silas the Blind King to unlock the following bonus effect. Bone shield restores extra HP equal to 10% of attack per second. Vierna's first awakening, when applying Mortal Kiss, magic resist reduction of negative 10% will also be applied. Her second awakening increases her attack by 300. Her third awakening, when Reaper's Grasp kills an enemy with Mortal Kiss, deals 130% magic damage to all other enemies around it. Her fourth awakening reduces her cost by 2. And her fifth awakening, Bone Shield deals double damage to enemies with Mortal Kiss. The execute on her ultimate means a higher focus on attack percentage over crit damage percentage to try to chunk the enemies into the execution threshold. Attack speed has no effect on her, so one can skip that stat entirely to focus solely on the attack percentage, crit rate percentage, and crit damage percentage for best results. For early game, one can look towards the sticks for some increased to her AoE of Mortal Kiss and ultimate. By mid-game, Curse is perfect for trying to push through the huge waves of Gear Raid 1, and by late-game, Soulbound Arcana will ramp up her damage with her relatively quick ultimate buildup. For artifacts, as an attack damage scaling hero, Ancestral Teachings is obviously the best choice. For mid-game, Nightmare Samsara can help her get her ultimates off even quicker if you need her executions that much quicker. And late-game, it's hard to 
to overcome the pure damage a tier of starlight can provide. Anywhere where there are a swarm of enemies, Viren is a great addition and solution to their removal. Her ultimate has fairly quick recharge, and as long as she or her allies get the enemies to their execution threshold, she will annihilate wave after wave of enemies. Primary usage in gear raid 1 and even 2, she can also be used in early gear raid 3 should you lack AoE marksmen, her only weak spot being guild boss. While Vierna greatly augments her lover's damage output, Silas, she herself only gains some utility and some healing for whom her skeletal shield assists. Thank you for watching this Watcher of Realms Hero Spotlight. If you like what you see, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I am Lieutenant Sheik, and this target has been destroyed.